this trend is remarkable. So Kevin Stefanski, head coach of the Browns, says he took over that job a few years ago. He is 1-11 and against the spread versus AFC North opponents as the head coach of the Browns. The least profitable against the spread coach versus a divisional opponent in 20 years. 12 games. The Browns have covered the number once within the division since Stefanski took over. What do we think about that? I think it's worth noting that uh, it's especially worth noting in this situation because the the number is above a field goal. So mm-hmm. we're what are we at? Four and a half about MGM, right? Four elsewhere for the majority right. of the spots. But if you yeah. look at if you look at the specifics of what's happened in these divisional games, what do we see? Yeah, there are there are a handful of blowouts, but for the most part, they're close games. That doesn't shock anybody in any division, and it's been a mixed bag on the results. It's the reason you don't hear people cite the straight up record is because the straight up record is not bad. It's not anywhere close to the one in 11 ATS that we see. So last year they got swept by Pittsburgh and we'll talk about that matchup in a moment, but they also swept the team that went to the Super Bowl in Cincinnati. And then they split with Baltimore in 2021. They swept uh, Cincinnati now, those were close games, one-score games, so they probably didn't cover those spreads. That's probably why this is part of it. Split with Pittsburgh, and they were swept by Baltimore. So last two years, if we're looking straight up, it goes 3-3 three and three in those divisional matchups. So I think there's a lot of noise behind this ATS record. Now, if you want to cite it for tonight, I don't have a problem with it because the point spread is more than a field goal. But I'll say this. If uh, if part of your handicap is just take the underdog because it's an AFC matchup, just take the underdog. These games are always tight. Uh, that's trash that you're putting out there. That's just wrong. Because if you look at the last eight matchups between th- these two teams, they have been decided by an average of 12.1 points per game. The mm-hmm. number of times it has been decided by less than five points, which is what this spread is, out of the last eight, Aaron, it's happened once. There's a 31, wow. 15, 14, 12, 11. A lot of double digit, a uh, lot of double digit games in this series. And and I, I think that was when Pittsburgh was better because they probably had Watt in a number of those and maybe a better version of Roethlisberger. 